Meet Die Dead Girl, my main account. Ever since the collection log was released, I've been working on collecting all the different items in the game. After starting my Chunkman series, I've been neglecting the account, but now it's time to resume collecting and share the adventure. Hey guys, this video is going to be an overview of all the items currently in my collection log. If you haven't seen the intro video, check the playlist in the comment of the video or the card in the top right corner right now. If we look to our character summary, we are currently at 898 collections logged. So we are pretty close to 1000 and that's pretty much going to be the goal of this series at the start and then we'll see where we get. If we look at all of the items, I'm going to go over all the categories and give you some insight how these items were obtained. Starting with the bosses, the first boss is Abyssal Sire. We have 230 kills with 6 Unsired, which is fairly lucky as the Unsired are 1 in 100. So on drop rate we only should have 2 to 3. But then, what did we get from these Unsired? We got a jar, a dagger, 2 or 3 heads and then a whip. So no bludgeon piece whatsoever and no pet of course either. So a bit unlucky on the drops reward but very lucky on the unsired. Then on to alchemical hydra. We only have 112 kills so pretty much one task. And we got the leather and the eye. And these dragon knives and dragon throne axes were from the worms in the same cave. For Barrows, we are fairly close to completing. We only need 6 more items, so 3 more weapons, 2 more legs and the Torex plate body. One funny thing is that we had our helm collection before we got any of the other items, but it's probably going to take another long while to get the last 6 items. On to Bryophyta, we have 2 times the essence. In 150 Bryophyta kills, one essence was completed at around 140-ish. And then I had some leftover keys. And what did you know, we got another one. Not sure if you can call that lucky or unlucky. For Callisto, we have zero kills. So still something to do when the boss rework is going to be there. Then Cerberus, we have 139 kills, also just one task. We got the Primordial Crystals and the Keymaster Teleports. So pretty lucky on getting the Primordial Crystal first, but no other drops yet. For the Chaos Elemental, we have 40 kills, so we aren't even on the high scores yet for the Chaos Elemental. And we got the Dragon Pickaxe and the Dragon 2 h Sword from the Chaos and Elemental in 40 kill count. The pet is not from here, is actually from the Chaos Fanatic. For the Chaos Fanatic we are at 537 kill count. And the pet is 1 in 1000 so got pretty lucky to get it from that boss. And we already have 2 Malediction Shard ones. But no Odium Shard, so pretty much double the drop rate for this Shard. Then on to Commander Zeliana, we only have 4kc, pretty much 2kc for the Fremenic Diary. So I pretty much did one, noticed I had enough supplies and did another one. And the same thing for the mini quest to unlock next, I also did 2 kills here. But no drops yet. Then Corporeal Beast, we did 7 kills in a mass free for all and no drops, but that's pretty normal. On to the Crazy Archaeologist, we have 568 kill count with all the drops. So this is pretty much the end kill count for getting the Malediction Shard. So that's pretty much also double the drop rate. Then on to Dagnot Kings. We are at 291 Rex kills, 150 Prime kills and 50 Supreme kills. So we have all of the hard tasks for the combat achievements in kill count regard. And we got all of the drops. I was really happy to see the circle before 50 kill count from Supreme. As that was pretty much the last item we needed to get and the most annoying. 
We have done the fight caves 13 times. We have given our cape in 11 times, but no pet. And the other cape we're keeping, of course. And then our 13th cape is one we lost in the wilderness. For the gauntlet, we have zero completions. So that's still something we need to do. Then on to General Grardor. We have two kills. Pretty much the same thing as Zeliana. We got one kill for the diary, the Fremnik diary. And one kill for the mini quest to open the next door. For Giant Maul, we are at 51 kill count. And we just have the basic drops. No pet, but that's to be expected. Then the Grotesque Guardians. We are at 224 Guardian kills. And we got the Tourmaline Core, the Granite Gloves and the Granite Ring. So only the Granite Hammer left to get, together with the Char and the Pet. So pretty lucky on getting the core in here, as this is the rarest drop. Then onto his body, we got 3 buckets in 150 his body kills and an allotment of the other seeds. No attempts on the Inferno yet. That might be interesting in the long run as well, but that's still pretty far away. Then Calphite Queen. We have 83 kill count and we actually didn't get any drop from the Calphite Queen yet. These Dragon Two Hand Swords are from another source and the Dragon Chain Body is from Dust Devils actually. We're still looking for the Calphite Queen Head to complete one of the last achievement tasks in the desert. So this is definitely going to be something we're going for in the short term. Then onto the King Black Dragon. We have 158 kill count and we only have 3 times the KBD heads. Nothing else as the pickaxe was from the Chaos Elemental. Then onto Kraken. We have Kraken completed with 1529 kills. And we got 3 pets which is really lucky but really unnecessary. A lot of tridents, 2 jars even and only 1 tentacle. Then Criara, which all the drops are fairly recent. We've killed 155 Criaras, which means that's pretty much 4 or 5 Aviancy's tasks. And we got the full Armadale set except for the Hilt. And we don't have any God Shards to go with the 155 kill count, so I think that's Fairly unlucky to not have one of these squad sword shards from the minions. But fairly lucky to get the full arm doll set. Then onto Krill. The last of the God Wars bosses. We do have some kills here. 138 and only a Zami Spear. So pretty much combining Kriara and Krill. We have about 300 kills without any of the God Sword shards. Then on to next, we have one kill count without any drops. We just did the kill count for the music tracks. On to the Nightmare, we don't have any kills, so no drops. For Obor, we have the Hill Giant Club, so we pretty much finished Obor in 170 kills, which is also a bit above the drop rate of the club. Then Sarachnus, only 112 kills and only 4 x eggs, which is fairly normal and no cudgel yet. On to Scorpia, 43 kill count and no drops. Scotizo then, we have 41 kill count. We don't have the Dark Claws, which is one of the most likely drops to get from here, but we did get the Dark Totem. And this is actually one of the more rare items. And the Onyx isn't from here, but from Zolra. No Jar of Darkness or Pet yet. Pet could be soon, as the drop rate is also fairly low. But Jar of Darkness, maybe in 500 years. Then on to Temporos. We have Greenlocked Temporos in 2142 reward permits claimed. We did not get the Dragon Harpoon from here, that's from Worms. And we got the pet fairly early on, I think on about 1800. 
reward permits. And the last item we needed was actually the Tome of Water, which we were a bit above the drop rate for. But if we have the pet, that's actually all we can ask for. Then on to Thermonuclear Smoke Devils. We had the full green locked log until they added the Jar of Smoke. And we are currently at 823 kill count. So fairly lucky to get the pet here. And the Dragon Chain body is from Dust Devils. Then Venonatus, no kill count, waiting for the rework. Vetium the same, zero kill count. So this also means we don't have the diary completed yet for the wilderness, as we don't have any Vetium kills, no Venonatus kills, nor any Callisto kills. Then Vorkad, only 51 kill count. Pretty much for the guaranteed Vorkat's head and we got another one as a bonus. Then Winter Tot, like we saw in the first video, we are only missing the Phoenix. Then Zolcano, we have 3 kill count, no drops, which is fairly normal as all of these 3 drops are fairly rare to get it from the boss. And like I mentioned, Uncut Onyx is from Zora. And then Zora itself, we have 98 kill count, and we only have the Teleport and the Onyx, no other items yet. Then on to Raids, we have one Chamber of Zarek completed for the Diary. Theater of Blood, we only have one entry completion for the quest. And then Tombs of a Mascot, we have two entries completed, and we got the Thread like we saw in the last episode. Then for clues, we have 768 beginner clues completed, but as you see we have multiple duplicates, two monk's robes, two sandwich lady bottoms. I didn't really stop at when we green logged the log. They are just some easy things to do and we get some high score ranks if we complete some more. On to the easy treasure trails, we have already completed 1006. And we are missing 24 items. The more rare ones are one team cape, the golden chef's hat and apron. And we don't have any of the monk robes G. For the rest it's pretty much some miscellaneous items and some elegance. We do have 7 flare trousers and 2 ham joints. 5 amulets of power so... Pretty lucky on the flare trousers here instead of on the chunk man. Then for medium treasure trails, we are at 568 and we have 4 ranger boots, so that's fairly lucky. No other boot is missing, so it's pretty much a variety of items we are missing. 22 items more to go, and the elegant is probably the most difficult one to get. For the hard clues, we have 507 hard clues completed with 93 obtained, so 41 left to go, which is quite a lot. And this is an assortment of things, 3 rune plate body heraldics left, and 4 more of the dragon hide shields, which are the rarest things on here, and then just a variety of items. For Elite Treasure Trails, we currently have 14 Uniques obtained in 60 Elite Clues with a Ring of Third Age from the Mimic. And for the rest we have a variety of items but not that many. For Master Treasure Trails, we actually have more Masters completed than Elites. We are 79 Masters in and 13 Uniques obtained. A bit of the ornament kit, the Ring of Third Age of course, a few masks, the Ale of the Gods and the Obsidian Cape. So still a lot of items left to go here. For the rare part of the hard treasure trails, we only have one gilded item. So the gilded methelm together with the Ring of Third Age are pretty much the rarest things we've gotten from all of the clues. On to the Rare items from Elite, pretty much the same thing, only the Gilded Met Helm. And then Master Clues Rare is also the same, only the Gilded Met Helm. For Shared Treasure Trails, as we've done almost 3000 clues, 
we pretty much have everything. For minigames, if we go to Barbarian Assault, we've pretty much completed Barbarian Assault, but we haven't done any gambles yet for the Pet Pennant Queen. Primhaven Agility Arena. As you can see, I'm wearing the recolor of the graceful outfit. And we only need the pirate's hook left, but that's a fairly long grind. It's about 13 hours. Then Castle Wars, fully completed. All of the decorative armor, the gold decorative armor has been completed. Then Fishing Trawler, we got the angler's outfit fairly early on on the account, which is normal for anyone. Giant's Foundry is new, so we only have three swords at the moment, but no uniques yet. Gnome Restaurant is fully completed, and we fully completed it before they started counting in the collection log. Then Guardians of the Rift, we do have some rifts closed, but no drops yet. Hello to Polker, we do have a lot of items here, only four missing. The Dark Die, the Dark Acorn, which is two items we need to buy with the Hallowed Marks. Then the Ring of Endurance, because we don't have the Agility level yet to get to the 5th level, so we don't have the Mysterious Page either. Then Last Man Standing is not my favorite activity, you can see here. In 146 games we only have 85 kills. We do have two wins, which gave us the Victorscape 1, but those wins are pretty much because there were a lot of bots in some of the games I played, and I was lucky to win one. We have 10 of 32 items, which is quite a lot, and we pretty much have the cheapest items on the list, with a few Dark Bow paints left to go, and all of the rest is a lot of things left to get and a lot of LMS to play. Magic Training Arena, we have 7 out of 11 pretty much. We have the cheapest items, missing the full infinity set and the mages book. Then Mahogany Homes, we have the Hosidious blueprints left to get but all of the rest we do have. Too bad we don't have a counter on how many contracts we've completed in total. Best Control, Fairly logical that we have that fully completed. Rogue's Den, same thing. Shades of Morton. I actually really liked the activity as we are a main account and we can just buy the pyre logs. And we got the full zealots armor in not that long. And then all of the other items weren't really that difficult to get. Then Soul Wars. We currently only have the Ectoplasmator, but we are pretty much halfway to the Soul Cape. And then, of course, no pet. Temple Tracking, just the Lumberjack outfit, which is needed for Master Clues, so that's something we got. Tide Farm, fully completed. Then Trouble Brewing, we have all of the outfits, we have two of the flags, and Four left to get, so we're fairly close here. And then last of all, the Volcanic Mine is fully completed. Then to the last tab, we have Aerial Fishing first. We have the three fishing rods, but we didn't get any of the Golden Tenches, which is really annoying, as that would have given us a lot of pearls to buy the fishing rods, but we had to do it all without getting a single tench. And of course we don't have the fish sack because that's just so much pain to get. For pets, we actually don't have any skilling pets. We have Tiny Tempor, we have the Smoke Devil pet, we have three pet Kraken and one Chaos Elemental pet. But let's hope with all of the bossing we are going to do that that is going to change a lot. For Cam de Zal, fairly easy to get a full green log here. The Champions Challenge, we are missing the Ghoul Champion Scroll, the Imp Champion Scroll, the Joker Champion Scroll and the Lesser Champion Scroll. And we also need the Zombie Champion Scroll. So 5 scrolls left to go and then the cape for free. And we got the Earth Warrior Champion Scroll. Very early on the account when we had an Earth Warrior 
Slayer task. The giant champion scroll was obtained when we went for all of the keys. The goblin champion scroll is one we got when we went for the beginner trash trials. The hobgoblin champion scroll, I think we were a bit over the rate, but nothing too bad. And then the skeleton champion scroll we obtained in Barrows, so very lucky to get it from Barrows. Chaos Ruids in the wilderness, we got a few duplicates, but we got everything. Chompy Bird Hunting, we do have the possibility to get a Chompy Chick now, and we'll definitely get it while chasing for the next few hats. But this is also 6 more collection slots to get. Creature Creation, fully completed, which is fairly normal. Same thing with all of the Defenders. Fossil Island Nodes are also very fast to get. The Gloves Experiments. We are 453 Demonic Gorillas in. We got 3 of the items, but 0 Zenites, which is fairly annoying. Monkey Backpacks, we have them all, so we did 2000 laps in Apatol. Motherload Mine, everything. The Ancient Pages are also all completed. These are fairly easy to get, just takes a bit of time. Random events is one that I am most proud of. We do have the Stale Baguette. We actually got it a few days before we actually leveled all of the 99s. So very happy to have that one done, as this is one of the most difficult items to get in the game. Then we have Revenants. We only have the Bracelet of Ethereum and the Eater and of course the Teleport. We killed pretty much only the Hobgoblin and the Goblin. So these 275 kills aren't that indicative of any other item to get. Then Rooftop Agility. Got everything which is fairly normal. Chase in Arbor also everything which is also fairly normal. Then Shooting Star. Bought the two items. The recolor for the Prospector outfit is not in here, so that was a fairly easy thing to get after the shooting stars were released. Skilling pets, as I mentioned, zero skilling pets. And then Slayer, we have all of the heads. The most difficult one to get was the Kurask head, which we were a bit dry on. From the superiors, we only have two dust battle staves. And one missed battle staff. Got four whips, so I think about three from normal abyssal demons and one from sire. A lot of moles, the hats, the flippers, all of fairly normal items. But the one I'm very happy with to have is the wyvern visage, which we got while actually going for the granite longsword and granite boots. So this was one of the items. That I was really happy with. Then no draconic visage yet. Though we have killed a lot of dragons already. We have all of the boots which is fairly normal. We got the dagger. The abyssal dagger from Sire. And then everything's fairly normal to get. The broken dragon hosta is still one to get from the brimstone chest. We got both of the Drake Uniques and blocked it immediately after. Got fairly lucky on those two. All of these items we've already seen as these are Hydra Uniques. We got all of the Light Mystic, Dark Mystic and already got two Dusk Mystic parts from the Brimstone Chest. Three to go together with the Broken Dragon Hasta. And then we have the Jaw and the Blood Shard. No Dagon High yet. And no ancient ceremonial items as those were added while I was playing the Chunkman account. But these should be really easy to get, these five items. For Tsars, we have all of the normal items. And then we still need the obsidian armor and the staff from the mages in the inner city. And then we have the last part of the collection log. We don't have Herbie yet, we don't have Dragon Warhammer yet. I think we are at about 3500 kills, but no luck yet. We do have the Pharaoh Scepter, no Dragon Full Helm or one of the Dragon Metal Slices or Lump. But we do have the Dragon Limbs from Rune Dragons, 
no amulet of eternal glory, no piece of evil chicken yet, though I have given a lot of eggs to the shrine already. And then it's just miscellaneous items up until the Crystal Grail. Was a bit annoying to get, but we got it fairly easily. And then we have one Dragonstone armor piece and four to go. We did use a lot of Crystal Keys already and all the rest we already have. So that's pretty much the 898 collection lock items. Now you are up to speed on what we do have and what we still need to get. If you have any questions on where I got an item or how I got an item, you can leave a comment down below the video and I'll see to give you more details. Otherwise, let's go and get some more collection lock items when the second episode releases. Thanks for watching and see you next time.